everyone. My name is Zelda Kelly. I'm with PsychicSecrets.com and today, well, welcome to this week's Love Connection. We are going through a Mercury retrograde. Let me just say this right now. It started today, September 9th, and it doesn't let up until October 2nd. Be cautious of what you say in text conversations because you don't want a misunderstanding and this is the time where that will happen. Also, in the love department, let me tell you this, sometimes exes come back, so be careful. You're in control, you're in charge, and let's get started, okay? So today I'm gonna do a little something different. I think you're gonna like this with this love connection. And then we're gonna confirm everything that we are seeing. So as always, these readings do not resonate with everyone, so please just take what resonates with you. And let's see what's going to happen with the love connection. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to cut the deck into three piles, just like that. We're going to go pile by pile, and then we're going to confirm the cards. Ready? So let's get started. So into this first pile, you have the King of Pentacles. That's very good. And I'm going to turn these over as we go. You have the Queen of Cups. That's a good energy. Very, very good energy so far. And you have the Eight of Cups. Now, going through this, so far, I believe that things will start working out. If you are in a current relationship, things will start working out for you as time goes on, for the both of you. Things financially, and I believe with this Queen of Cups, you see how she is very dedicated to this, very dedicated to this urn that she has. That is paying attention, I'm perceiving this for you, as paying more attention to your relationship. And someone else will be paying more attention to this relationship as well. Financially, things are working out for you. And financially, with this uh, King of Pentacles, financially, this looks like you're finally getting on track. And I think it's going to help put your relationship on track as well. You know, there's nothing like finances and the lack of or problems within to make a problem within your relationship. Things look like they're coming on track, okay? Now, with this particular card, with this Eight of Cups, you see there's a void there with the Eight of Cups. Now, it's not that you're not doing enough. That is not the case. I believe, basically, that you are walking forward, you're moving your relationship forward to a much better goal. With the Eight of Cups, this really means that you're walking toward the Nine of Cups. And just because it doesn't show up here in this particular reading, not yet anyway, just because it hasn't shown up here doesn't mean that it's not going to show up. It will. You will have that heart's desire of the Nine of Cups, your wish card, your wish fulfilled, and you're working on it. So you're actually stabilizing the relationship. That's what this looks like. Now, here we go. I'm going to cut these decks in half again. Oh, I love this. All right. We're going to cut them in half again. <laughs> I love it. Great energy. And here we go. Great, great energy with this. All right. So now I'm going to put this here. All right. We're going to lay these here so we can still refer to those cards. This magician is telling me that you really have working hard. Give yourself some credit. You're able to put this together and you are the one who is making your relationship stronger. You look at this with this two of cups. 
that's coming together, sharing your lives together, living together, all of these things. Now, what does this Five of Cups mean? Well, the Five of Cups means that I believe there was a time that both of you and the relationship may not have been paying attention to either your relationship or your being together because of perhaps financial issues, okay? What happened was that you both were concentrating on what you didn't have instead of concentrating on what you do have. And look here, there's two cups and you're concentrating on having each other. This is a very good reading for you because basically it's talking about being solid, being stable in your relationship, and I love this magician card for you. The magician card for you is basically saying, look, I have every element, I have every ability to work on my relationship and make sure that everything is going the way it should be. Now, I know that you're seeing cards underneath these, but we're going to concentrate on those six cards. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get a final message. We're going to get a final message for this love connection. And that is you're just really beating the financial woes in your relationship. I love it. And there's a card that came out. And that is the Six of Hearts, the Six of Hearts, and you have a, well, a griffin here, but that is considered a joker. A joker. This really means, and it's, it's confirming this card here, that you both have made sacrifices in order to make this work. And I believe now, going forward, things are really, really going to pick up for you don't forget, Mercury Retrograde, you've got to stay solid, stay strong. But I'm picking another card here, and that is being together, working together financially. See, it's all turning out how you're going to work together financially and with your partner, with your person that you're in a relationship. One more card, and we'll confirm. All right. That is the Three of Diamonds. That Three of Diamonds tells me that you've really taken a business approach to, in order to get your relationship back to where it should be. The finances threw you off for a little bit, but you're getting back to where you need to be. Final, final card. We're going to cut the deck, and then what we're going to do is see what's on the bottom of the deck. Are you ready? Are you ready? That is a wonderful timing card. Now, timing card, this means summer. Summer, we're still not over. Even though it kind of feels like we're heading toward the fall or the autumn of the year, we're still in the summer. That means that things are going to really, really pick up the pace and work out for you. And it started this summer. Also, this means a very benevolent time where you're working together financially. This is all working together. That's what you're doing, working together. I love this card. That is my favorite card of the whole scenario. The whole thing, coming together, working things out, sharing, loving, giving. You're renewing your love. You're renewing your friendship and you're renewing your relationship. And it's all because you have decided to work together to work it out. It's wonderful. But with this Ace of Clubs right here, this Ace of Clubs, it does mean that, well, I think there's a, actually a source for a lump sum of money coming to you. It's not going to be a large lump sum, but it's going to come from a source that you're not even going to be thinking about. That's going to help you out too. Aces are wonderful to have in a reading because they're not only timing, but it's a strength that strengthens the reading. And that's what it's done for you today. I love this for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, I ask you to please like and subscribe. We've got a lot of other videos I think that you'll love. And I'm going to continue to bring you content. And you be well. You have a wonderful day week. And don't forget, Mercury Retrograde, don't let it throw you. 
It's all going to work out. You be well. Take care and thanks again. I'll see you next time.